Hello and welcome back to my studio. It's Lois here from Lois and Morgana Davidson Art and I've got a full day in the studio so I thought I'd share with you um, a new hobby that I'm enjoying. I'm going to give you a quick tour of my latest sketchbook. This sketchbook um, has turned into a bit of a nature journal which I started sort of mid-May and most days I sketch something in it, something that I've seen during the day either on my daily walks around my town or to the beach or on outings out to the local countryside. And I always find that there's at least one thing and often multiple things that catch my eye when I'm out for a walk. And I suddenly decided that it'd be really wonderful to kind of try and capture them in a nature journal. Um, I looked at my pile of unused journals and I had this really nice Sea White of Brighton concertina sketchbook. It's A5 and it comes in this nice hard cardboard sleeve and so I've sort of written on it in white gel pen across the back um, the months that it covers, which is May and June. And I've nearly finished the book. It's not quite finished, but I'll um, show you um, my pages so far. And so you can see that I can paint across as many pages as I want, or as few. And so if I don't have much time, I can just do a very simple entry, maybe even just a pen pencil sketch or something like that. But on days when something really catches my eye and I really get into it, I can paint across three or four, maybe five or six different pages. So I'll give you a quick flick through my pages and tell you little, a little bit about them. And the wonderful thing about this is that this really keeps me in the moment. It really makes me feel very mindful because every day I'm focusing on something that I see that I really like. For example, here on day one, on Sunday the 19th of May, I can remember it was raining really hard. And the foxgloves were out on my little patio, so I took a photograph of them and sketched them. But I'm absolutely positive that if I hadn't have started this nature journal, I would never have remembered that particular day, the weather and the way the foxgloves looked in the rain. And just a quick note, um, I won't be doing any tutorials about this because this nature journal is, is a hobby for me. It's something that I'm doing in my spare time, but it's really easy. You just get started, get hold of a sketchbook and whatever media you like to draw and sketch in and have a look around you next time you're out. You won't regret it. It's so much fun. And the next entry was the beautiful bindweed flower. As beautiful it is, it's a bit of a pest in the garden because it'll wrap itself around anything and sort of squeeze the life out of it and overtake your garden if you're not careful. But it is stunningly beautiful and you can see I really enjoyed um, using up quite a few pages here for this four page spread. And this is sea mallow just growing along behind the beach, beach huts right on the promenade near the sea. And it's a beautiful plant and there's so much sea mallow um, growing around me. Um, I've always been really, really fond of it and I enjoyed uh, recording the shapes of the flowers and the leaves and its habitat with it growing up in its sort of tree-like bushes in front of the beach huts. Another thing to have come from this new journaling habit is that I will look up anything that I'm not too sure about and make little notes about it. Sometimes, you know, finding or using its Latin name, putting down something about it or something about the day and how I felt and what I was up to when I came across these things. This entry here was a lovely group of seaweed and stones and shells that I came across at low tide on my beach walk. And you can see that I've begun to record the colours that I've used as little swatches. And I think this is a useful thing to do because then you know which colours you've used. This was a wonderful day. Morgana and I went for a walk along a few miles along the coast from where we live and we came across the most beautiful cliff walk with drifts of these beautiful sea pinks or sea thrift. Um, there was some beautiful uh, buttercups, bird's foot trefoil, um, some amazing larks singing their hearts out and a pair of really beautiful peregrine falcons all underneath the most perfectly blue sky. So of course, when I came back, I had to record it in my nature journal and I had a go at trying to record the shapes of these beautiful sea pinks. 
Next was another damp and drizzly day, um, so I really enjoyed sketching out my potted hydrangeas, which look, which look absolutely beautiful with lots of wild flowers sort of growing up around them against this stone wall. My next day was really busy. I had to hike across town doing lots of errands, but on my way I spotted an old wooden fence with these beautiful campanula bellflowers growing between some cracks in the wood and I had to quickly stop and take a photograph. And when I came back, I did this pen and ink sketch. And I'm really enjoying recording the shapes of these flowers, or trying to at least. But as well as ink and watercolour sketching, I've decided to try and have a little go at some collage. And this day was really wet and windy, so I stayed in and did some collage and some, some printing of ivy leaves and ferns. And this next entry is of the ivy leaf toveplax, a tiny little plant that grows out between brickwork or cracks in the pavement all around where I live. It's absolutely stunning, but it's a really difficult plant to actually draw. So I think I'm going to really focus on drawing flowers and leaves a lot more in my spare time. Um, as a hobby, I'm finding it really therapeutic, very meditative and really enjoyable. And I'm finding that I'm quite drawn now to sort of pure botanical illustration. And so my next entry, I decided to kind of draw in that style. Um, so this is the Norway maple. So I did an example of the leaf and um, the winged seeds, a pair of the winged seeds. These were blown down um, in a rainstorm early because it's spring the seeds wouldn't normally come down until the autumn but I really really enjoyed painting this and it was great to just sort of try and look at the leaf and try and get the proportions right quite a challenge but again very meditative and really enjoyable and I'm sure I'll be doing um, more entries like this in this more sort of formal style um, as my nature journaling progresses now, this was my favourite day. I went to visit a local um, seaside town, Shoreham, and was lucky enough to spot this little chap sunbathing on a wall. He's um, a green-backed wall lizard, and he was absolutely gorgeous. I managed to get a photograph of him, and of course, as soon as I got home, he was my journal entry for the day. And one thing I really liked about painting this entry was painting these kind of really loose rough and ready bricks to get the um, the loose background in with a slightly tighter sketch of the lizard itself. And then this was another uh, low tide walk, more mussel shells against the sand, trying to sort of capture the pattern that the water makes in the sand as the tide goes out. And then back to the tree mallow, or sea mallow as it's also known, and another slightly more detailed study this time, keeping it loose but trying to capture the distinctive shapes of the leaves and the flowers, the way that the flowers and the buds grow out from the stem. And I'm finding the more of these um, nature journal entries that I do, um, the more keenly I'm beginning to observe the world around me and the small little details that I think are so important. This is again at Shoreham at low tide, just looking out towards the harbour wall. And the beach there is littered with old jetties, pilings and breakwaters encrusted with seaweed and barnacles and things. And so this was an attempt to try and sort of get that effect. And I really enjoyed that. I think I'd like to make a larger painting of this one at some point. Ah, oh, this is another one of my favourite entries. For as long as I can remember, I've been in love with ferns. I think they are magical, mystical and really beautiful. And Morgana brought me a present of a stag's horn fern, one of my favourite varieties. And of course, I had to draw it and paint it. This is another plant that's so complex and beautiful and I really want to do like a whole series of paintings based on it I think and maybe on other ferns but that's for another time. Um, the next day I had a 
to take a trip to the art shop and on the way back I found a cloud of beautiful love in a mist or nigella growing around the base of a tree um, in a little side street so I took a quick photograph and came back to the studio and had a go at a close-up of one of the beautiful blooms. So there's just one more entry to go in my nature journal so far and this was um, sketched after a wonderful trip again to Shoreham uh, where there's an amazing nature reserve and a vegetated shingle beach home to many wonderful coastal plants, some of them quite rare. So yesterday's entry here is this little sketch or colour study of viper's bug loss. We are more used to seeing the purple variety of this and when we came across one that was bright pink and sort of violety blue then we had to photograph it and I wanted to paint it. So I'll show you a couple of stages as to the way I go about putting my pages together and a sneak peek at the full size painting. So I start off just with a few sort of washy sketches and ideas trying to get the general shape and playing around with colours and swatching out the colours that I choose. And then I'll move on to maybe further trying out a couple of sort of compositions, just very loose sort of scribbly sketches, trying to get a feel for the shape of the plant as a whole. And here is my work in progress. This is a full size painting on a half imperial sheet. It's very much a work in progress and my nature journal, I'm doing it as a sort of a standalone thing. In other words, I'm nature journaling just because I really enjoy it. But it could be really helpful for um, preparatory sketches for more finished paintings. So I'm back off to the studio now. I'm going to start working on a few more demos for you and then probably going to go out for a walk and um, do another nature journal entry. Um, it's just a wonderful way to wind down after a full day of landscape painting. I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you keep a similar illustrated journal. It doesn't have to be a nature journal. Maybe it's a journal of um, urban sketching or landscape sketching or maybe just some sort of buildings or that you like to sketch the different cars or things like that that you see around you. Be really interested to read your comments. And I hope that was helpful. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. We really do appreciate you. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.